So now, in the last video, we looked at this circuit. I'll try to remember to link that video in the description here. But, uh, in any case, we're not going to talk about this circuit really, other than the fact that we're using a small signal to control a larger power source. So, right now we have this set to milliamps. If I close the switch here, we have 15.08 uh, uh, milliamps. So, this is an 18 volt power supply. This circuit here, other than the transistor, is uh, wired to work with 18 volts to get us that brightness. The transistor is just working as a switch. It is getting a signal from the mechanical switch and a lower voltage, lower power power supply there. So, in any case, what we're going to look at in this video. While I was making the last video, since I didn't turn the power off while I was wiring it, we noticed something if I touch this resistor we get a false signal. And this is why the uh, the uh, light is down. So we do not want to, in this particular circuit, have the LED turn on at all without me pressing the switch. And my body provides a signal where it will turn on. So let's zoom in so we can see this a little easier. And uh, so this is milliamps right now. So it's less than a milliamp, but these LEDs, they light up pretty well, even with very, very low current. So you can see it's point zero, like a four, point zero four milliamps or so. So now we're gonna go, that's the wrong way, that's amp. We're gonna go to microamps. So this will be one, one millionth of an amp. We would need one million microamps to equal one amp so very small current so we are in the microamp currents with my false trigger there you go so I'm just touching the resistor anything that goes to the base of the transistor so we have about 45 microamps of current so we're gonna do a simple fix called the pull up or uh, pull down resistor because we are given a high signal from the positive rail so we want to avoid accidental high signals. So we're gonna take a 10 kilo ohm resistor and uh, put that from the switch directly to the negative rail. Right there. And so right now we will look at uh, the current again in milliamps because we're not gonna press the button. Very important to press the button right now. And there we go. So we're completing the uh, circuit through the meter. It's at 0 0.5 milliamps, so so less than 1% uh, of the current. But we didn't see the LED light up, so this is a very small amount of current. Even the uh, 45 microamps may have been okay for your particular circuit, but we wanted to reduce it as much as we could. And so now I'm going to turn the uh, meter off and attach the jumper back to the transistor, and we will see that the circuit works just as well. We could see if we're losing a little current. Let's open this up. But in uh, any case, that is what it means when you hear of a pull-up resistor. So we will go back to milliamps. Make sure we're getting the same amount of current. And complete the circuit there through the meter. And yep, it's, I think, exactly spot on the current we had. So that didn't lower the voltage there, probably at all, because actually it goes directly to the uh, positive rail there. So that will overwhelm the uh, resistor. So in any case, that's what pull down resistor means. We have a resistor holding the voltage to the negative rail until we close the switch, in this case. If we had a pull up resistor, then we would be waiting for a low signal from the negative rail across the switch. So we would have a 10 kilo ohm resistor, that's the most common value, waiting at the uh, positive rail. But since this one's waiting at the negative rail until we give a high signal, it is a pull down resistor. So that's the basics of those uh, pull up and pull down resistors. They hold the voltage towards one of the rails until you want a signal from one of the other rails. But they have somewhat high resistance because you don't want 
once you close that switch for it to influence the signal after that. You want the switch to be over, able to overwhelm the signal that it's providing. So hopefully that makes sense. This board really doesn't want this switch in this spot. Uh, but in uh, any case, thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.